thank you very much for doing this at uh, what is obviously a very difficult time. Uh, let me begin by asking you your reaction to Navalny's death. Uh, you know, I'm now uh, situated in the Munich Security Forum where wife of uh, Alexei Navalny also was. And, uh, you know, the shocking news of Navalny's death is like a dark reminder that security, democracy, and human rights are interconnected. There will be no security without humanity and vice versa. You know, we don't have doubts uh, who is responsible for Navalny's death. He was murdered by Putin's regime. And it is the reminder to the whole world that dictators don't have limits. They don't have humanity. I was, uh, you know, this death or murder of Navalny is very close uh, to me because uh, my husband uh, in, is uh, in prison for four years already. And the last one year, he's kept in communicator mode. So it means that I don't know anything about him. Lawyers not allowed to visit him. Uh, letters are not delivered. So I don't know if he's alive, uh, in what state he is, if he's put in punishment cell uh, as open as uh, Alexei Navalny. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, it's so pain, painful. And so you spoke today to Navalny's wife, Yulia. What, what was her reaction? Uh, I think that... Uh, she might still has very small hope that he might be alive, that it's like, uh, you know, conspiracy. But uh, I think that in her mind, she realizes that it's truth. Uh, but, you know, now she's keeping strong because uh, uh, she has to give uh, many comments, you know. Uh, but I think that she will, like, grieve uh, about uh, her loss when she will stay one to one with herself. She worries a lot about uh, her children, the, you know, their children who uh, were very close to Alexei. And uh, of course, it's huge loss, not only for family, but also for compatriots of uh, Alexei. And actually, uh, Alexei is a symbol of like uh, another Russia. You know, he's the person who was uh, uh, who was um, fighting against corruption in, in Russia, and uh, I uh, believe that that uh, Russia lost a uh, real hero. So, what does this say? Do you think to opposition forces in Russia, those who are fighting, for example, corruption and fighting the excesses of the Putin regime? What do you think will happen to that movement? Of course, it's a message of a uh, dictator that uh, uh, any opponent, uh, even uh, the most significant and uh, uh, important now, can be uh, can be killed in prison. It's like uh, it's a way to threaten uh, population. Uh, and, uh, you know, the same happening actually in uh, Belarus, in our country, you know, people are scared by the regime, by KGB, by in constant interrogation, and um, just to suppress people, suppress people will uh, for changes. But despite of this, you know, today I saw the last message of Navalny uh, that he recorded uh, a long time ago, just uh, to be published in the case of his death. He told that people, you have to uh, realize your, your power. You don't have to stop. I might be dead, but you will continue my 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 duties. So I want to believe that uh, in Russia there are people who will continue uh, Navalny's uh, path. But it's uh, you know it's also about uh, our country where millions of people are on the uh, in in this fight for democratic changes. But also Navalny is a reminder to um, powerful politicians, democratic politicians that. Uh, Navalny is an example uh, for them as a brave person, and they also have to be brave and strong enough to fight uh, with dictators, fight with the tyranny. I know it's been a very busy day for you and a difficult day, and we really appreciate you taking the time to speak to us here in Canada. Thank you.